everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is part two of my three part haul and this is a drugstore beauty haul. Um, not as much as last time, so let's just go ahead and get into it. To start off with, I've got a couple of brow products which I'm pretty sure we don't have in the UK. Do let me know below if I'm wrong. I got two pencils, one from L'Oreal and one from Maybelline. Now, well this is what they look like anyway. They don't have testers in the US, like in the drugstore, so I had to kind of guess what my colour was, like this, like, oh, is this right? So I think this might be a tiny bit too dark, and this might be just right. I really like the design of this one. I think there is a Maybelline one in the UK that is quite like this, with the little spoolie on the end. I found the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara, but in clear. Um, I'm pretty sure we don't have this in the UK. I know we have the normal Great Lash Mascara, but I just thought, I need a new clear mascara. I can't remember how much it was. But it wasn't expensive, so I thought, why not? Another thing from Maybelline is the Instant Age Rewind Eraser with Dark Circles. Now, I know we do have this in the UK, but I can never really find anything that I think is this light. That's the colour. Hopefully, that's alright, and I can give that a good go, because I've heard so many good things about this. It's so good for under the eyes. and Also for under eyes, because I thought this looked quite interesting. It's the CoverGirl Plus Ole CC Cream for eyes. And this is actually on sale when I went, so let's see. The colour of this might be a tiny bit too dark. I think it is a tiny bit too orange. I'll still give it a go, but that might be a good shade for my friend, actually, so she could appreciate that. That was the lightest one they had, I think. You can never really tell. I found the cutest little thing. Look at this mini Vaseline. Look, it's so cute. I mean, why don't we have these? Also really random, I got the little like mini Venus razor thing. Like a little travel size one. I thought that was really like inventive. You can just, I might even just replace my razor with this because it takes up, oh my God, I dropped it. It takes up less space. It's gone all the way over there. I got one of their Dream Bouncy blushes to try. A lot of people said these are just ridiculous, not worth anything. But I really wanted to try it out. I wanted to see what everyone was talking about. It was like a really weird consistency, but it has like no pigmentation to it. I'm far too curious to not get it, so. Oh, that is a weird consistency. Oh, oh, that's strange. Okay. Yeah, that is weird. I got quite a bright one, so that, I mean, that's some pigmentation. Really, I like cream blushes, and I think that's interesting. That is a weird texture. There is nothing like that. I got two of the Maybelline Color Whispers. Um, these are also on sale. Um, these just haven't come to the UK yet. I can't quite put my finger on why. And they're like the Maybelline's version of the Revlon Lip Butters. And I got two shades. I got number twenty Mocha Mauve. Made it mauve. I like mauve. I've come to the conclusion that that is my lip colour is a mauve sort of colour and it's that one there. I don't understand why some things don't come over here. I can kind of understand why that Dream Bouncy blush didn't because everyone said it was crap. I think it's alright. Never mind. Right. I also got a Maybelline colour tattoo in Barely Branded. Oh, it's quite like Bear Study from MAC. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. It's this here. If you can see that. I also got one of the L'Oreal Infallible Shadows. Um, I have one of these, but this one in particular, we do not have in the UK this particular shade. This is Amber Rush. Bronzy sort of rose colour shade. They're so pigmented as well. Look how gorgeous that is. Also from L'Oreal, I got one of their Infallible Eye Crayons. I'm pretty sure we are getting these in the UK, but and we might even have them now, but when I, I hadn't seen them before I went to New York, so I thought, why not just pick one up? And I got the shade Impressive Brown. Let's see how impressive it is. Oh, it is quite, oh, that's nice and creamy. I got a nail polish. This also is available in the UK, but I couldn't find it. It is SC in the Cabana, but not like Cab Anna. It's a really nice aquary turquoisey colour, which is like my favourite colour, so I'm looking forward to paint my nails with that. I got four eyeshadow palettes from Wet n Wild. I've heard so much about Wet n Wild, um, and I haven't tried anything from them, so I got two of their eight shades and two of their 
trios. First trio I got is in Silent Treatment. Comes the two little brushes. So you get the brow bone, the crease, and the eyelid colour. You can't really see the brow bone colour, but then that's the crease, and then that's the eyelid colour. The next one I got is Walking on Eggshells, which is this really nice neutral palette. That's the brow bone, that's the crease, and that's the eyelid. Comfort Zone palette. She's really got some nice greens, got some nice neutrals, some nice greens. They're gorgeous colours. I can't believe how cheap they are. Gorgeous, purpley palette. Got a random little EIS lip balm. I've never tried one of these before, so I thought I'd give it a go. It's got coconut milk in it. That's a win for me. I love coconut. Got two mascaras to try. Covergirl Clump Crusher Mascara. I've heard lots of really good things about this. Um, I know Max Sack to do one that's supposed to be like this, but I think it'll be interesting to also try that one out and kind of compare the two and see how the formulas go. This is my kind of brush here. Really like that brush. So I'm looking forward to that. And what's with the packaging? It's so much better. You can see the brush. The Organic Wear Jumbo Lash Mascara. Really pretty bottle. Very different. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Good God, that's a weird brush. That is a very big brush. I've never used a brush like that before. And then I got one of their Sexy Booster Blushes. It's so cute, it's got like a little shoe on it. Um, in the back, you've got a little mirror and a little brush. Look how pretty that is. Oh, illuminating bronzing veil. Little bronzed hearts. Don't open it upside down, open it this way. I spill it on the bed. Um, it comes with a mirror, a little poofy thing, and a brush. So it comes with pretty much everything you need, which is this one here. It's really pretty, really, really pretty. Anyway, so that is the end of my drugstore beauty haul. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. Bye.